The last neurotransmitter we're going to talk about in this series is GABA, G-A-B-A, gamma aminobutyric acid. It is made in your body, are you ready for this, from glutamine. It's made from glutamine. You've heard of glutamine. When you think of glutamine, you're probably thinking of, gee, that's great for my intestinal tract, right? Isn't that the amino acid that's in all the GI products, GI absorb and GI repair? Because glut Yes, it is. And glutamine not only serves as a neurotransmitter that feeds the gut, it's the major neurotransmitter that makes GABA. All you have to do is combine glutamine with a little vitamin B6. There's a big reaction in your body called decarboxylation. Glutamine is converted to glutamate, which is converted with more vitamin B6 into, uh, into this beautiful GABA, which they call, by the way, neurobiologists do, we call it the brain's brake pedal because it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. It literally chills you out. It calms you down. 40% of all the neurotransmitters in your entire body are GABA. Things that literally calm you down. It, it's great for the brain and it's great for the body. If you've got low levels of GABA, then you can, if, it's, if it's a neurotransmitter that calms you down and you have low levels of it, what does that mean? Well, you can, might be prone to a lot of anxiety. You might be prone to nervousness, maybe even panic attacks. One of the major reasons for panic attacks is levels of GABA that are not normal, that are not, that are not high enough. There can be feelings of exhaustion. There can be feelings that you cannot handle your stress properly, feelings of being overworked. You feel pressured. You feel overwhelmed. And that's very, very common in people with low levels of GABA. And we can easily, easily make GABA in the system. Glutamine, some B6, your body will take care of all the rest.